don't know where to make a TV, everybody. Today's January the 18th. I'm up here in Arkansas hunting some public land, doing a little late season bow hunting, and we're gonna try and get us a doe this evening. Maybe a buck, who knows, but I come up in here earlier scouting this morning, and I jumped two, two big herds of deer up in here. I seen about 25, 30 deer back in here. All the woods are flooded from all the rain and it's brought all them deer out the backwoods and they all up here on this island. I got a wheat field about 100, 125 yards or so behind me. So these deer are making their way out of here going to this wheat field. Hopefully I can catch one of them. Weather's beautiful, man. It's been raining for the last week and finally it front passed through and blew all that out and it's been 29, 30 degrees in the morning or so and it's about 48 right now, so I think everything's looking good. So y'all stay tuned. We're gonna see what happens. This is what it looks like in here. The deeper water's further to the back, probably 80, 100 yards. That's where I'm gonna make my way to tomorrow. I'm gonna keep moving my way back my way back till I finally get a shot or either I run out of time. Okay, I just got down out the tree. I got me a doe. And no, I didn't get it on uh, film again. It happened too fast. Let's go walk over here and take a look at her. First hunt, I just got here this morning, did some scouting, come around here and put my stand up. Here they come, but they must have made their way around me and went to the wheat field and something spooked them out the field. And if there wasn't 40, 50 deer come out that field and just pass through these woods right here, it wasn't one, let me tell you. It was unreal. This one came in, man, right there, 15 yards. Right, we'll get out of here and get it at the truck and get it cleaned up. Y'all stay tuned for some more Widowmaker TV. Okay, today's uh, January the 19th. It's about 7.20 in the morning. Just shot that doe last night in here. I come back in here this morning, we're gonna try it again. Got a lot of duck hunters back in the swamp back there hunting and shooting, so. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll push one of them deer my way. We'll get another shot this morning. To your right. To your right. You're right. 
walk up a little bit. Today's January 20th, last day of the hunt. Seven o'clock in the morning right now. I'm at my same stand uh, where I shot the doe the first day. And uh, I shot another doe in here last night, right at dark. They were coming in, there was four of them. And she was about 18 yards out from me and facing me and I shot down into her. She took off and run, probably run 200 yards or so, I'm guessing. And I'm pretty sure I heard her go down, so she's back there in the water, and we're going to go back there and take a look and see if we can find her. I'm not hunting this morning because this stand's not in a good spot for a morning hunt. So I decided, well, I'm going to just go ahead and go see if I can find that deer. Then I'm going to come back and pull this stand down, and I'm going to move down the wheat field ways and make one more hunt this evening, and that's it. So let's go see if we can find her.
There it is. Whacking them and stacking them. Another one bites the dust at the hand of the Widowmaker. Okay guys, well like I said earlier, today's January the 20th. I shot this deer yesterday evening late. She come in to me about 18 yards facing me. I went ahead and took the shot. I hit her kind of high and then went, went back into her. And she took off and I heard her run a good ways and crash in the water. It was right at dark. I figured with the shot I made, I'd go ahead and just leave her for the night. I come back and look for it in the morning. I got in here this morning and took off in the direction I heard her. Got back in there. It took me a little while, maybe 15, 20 minutes to find her. I come up with my arrow first. I got to look and she was about 15 yards away. The coyotes had come in last night, at least one of them, and got her back hind quarter. So uh, that's about the only thing I lost. Everything else is good. Actually, it was a little buck that just dropped his horns there probably a couple days ago. It wasn't very long because it's still soft and bloody. So, But I'm glad to have it. I'm proud of her. And uh, hopefully we can get us another one this evening. I'm going to move down the field edge here, closer to the swamp along this wheat field. Make one more hunt this evening, and that'll be it for my trip. Hopefully we can get lucky and do it one more time. Y'all stay tuned. You're watching Widowmaker TV.